everyone, my name is Shelly Calhoun-Jones and I'm a Principal Technologist here at Cohesity. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Cohesity CyberScan, powered by Tenable. But why is this important? Organizations must scan for vulnerabilities periodically to detect weaknesses that an attacker may exploit to gain unauthorized access to a system or network. The challenge is that vulnerability scans can be compute intensive and could interfere with other business operations. As a result, operations and security teams must find a blackout period, which can be challenging depending on the type of workload. Cohesity CyberScan provides security and operations teams an alternative to scanning backups in production. It checks backup snapshots to ensure that no known vulnerabilities get injected into the production environment during a restore operation. In this video, we'll take a look at the new Cohesity CyberScan integration powered by Tenable. We'll perform a scan and then review the results. Then we'll take a look at how we can view this information in Tenable and use it to track down other assets experiencing the same vulnerability. Right now, we're in the Cluster Manager dashboard, which allows us to understand our security posture. For example, identify unresolved vulnerabilities and other misconfigurations. I'll select the Marketplace option and open up Cohesity CyberScan. In the CyberScan dashboard, I'll click on Add New Scan and provide a friendly name. For example, I could scan servers hosting a CRM or an ERP workload, or perhaps these servers are hosting a website. We'll keep it simple for this demonstration and I'll call it Windows Application. And then for target objects, we'll specify two Windows servers that are handling a test workload. So I'll click on Add Objects. We'll select my vCenter. And we have a handful of VMs here. For this demonstration, I'm going to select WinApp09 and WinApp06. And then I'm going to go ahead and expand the Scan Environment section because we'll want to specify both a Cohesity view and a compute resource for running the scan. A Cohesity view provides a storage location for the scan results. A compute resource specifies the instance used for running the scan, preferably a server in a test or dev environment, like in this example. And then we're going to select a compute profile. And what a compute profile does is it provides us a baseline configuration that we can use across multiple scans. Then we're ready to add credentials. And these credentials allow CyberScan to connect to our compute instance. I'm going to go ahead and select my credentials. And then if we scroll down to the bottom, this is where we can go in and define things like our scan frequency. For most organizations, you will be scanning for vulnerabilities periodically. And that could be monthly or weekly, or even if you're working in a federal agency, it could even be a couple of times a week. But your organization's security requirements will determine the frequency. In this example, we'll choose immediately and click Add. OK, so while the scan is running, let's go back to our security cluster and we'll see what's happening behind the scenes. I'm in the test and dev view, which shows the backups when they're getting cloned so we can scan for vulnerabilities on the VM. Awesome. OK, so now we're seeing some magic. Let's go ahead and click on one of these entries here so we can see what it's doing. Um, in this example, we can see the details from vCenter showing how it's cloning the VM and some other options like tagging. I, I do recommend using tagging because it delineates the type of resources that you have within your environment. For example, uh, resources that belong to a particular cost center, 
belong to your dev staging environments are, are mission critical. And so it really helps from a security automation perspective. But let's go ahead and switch back over to CyberScan. And I'm gonna just take a look at a completed scan because you can see that I've, I've ran a couple scans here uh, within the last couple of days. And I ran a scan uh, previously on the WinApp 09 VM. So we're just gonna crack this open and take a quick look. So in this example, we can see that the scan completed on May 18th. And we can see that we performed this scan on WinApp 09. I'm gonna go ahead and download the report so we can take a look at this together. Okay, so I do apologize in advance. I know this uh, screen is a little bit busy, but I wanted to show you the, the sheer breadth of the information that you can pull from a CyberScan report. Okay, so I've zoomed in a little bit and let me go ahead and filter here because we are going to look for a specific vulnerability that we found. In fact, let me go ahead and first filter by medium risk. Okay. And so what we're going to do is I'm gonna zero in on a particular vulnerability here, uh, which is SSL self-signed certificate. And so we can see that WinApp09 is running a self-signed certificate. A self-signed certificate is a public key certificate, not from a trusted entity, like a certificate authority. What this means is that anyone with a certificate creation tool can make a self-signed certificate, which makes it handy for testing and non-production applications, but still, threat actors can use it for spoofing or conducting man-in-the-middle attacks. So we have a server with a potential vulnerability, and although we can gain insight using CyberScan, we can also view this information directly in Tenable. Let's take a look. Okay, so right now I'm in Tenable. I just performed a search of WinApp09. If I click on WinApp09, it's going to provide me uh, with asset information, including scan information. So what I can do is I can just click on Open in Findings. And what it will show me is the, the vulnerabilities that were reported within CyberScan, but you'll also see an entry here for SSL signed certificate. If I click on that, it's going to provide me information about my asset, including information about the vulnerability, when it was first discovered, and a description of the issue and the solution on how to resolve. So in this example, we can see that it will provide more details about the vulnerability and solution. But what if I need to identify other servers experiencing the same vulnerability? We're gonna go back into findings. I can highlight it, click open in findings. Most of these are likely test resources, but I can do more digging to ensure that none are running in production. If I want to learn more, I can highlight another server like WinAmp06, and it's going to provide me with the operating system and network information. This completes the demonstration. We took a look at the new Coesity CyberScan integration powered by Tenable performed a scan and reviewed the scan results. We also took a look at how we can view this information in Tenable and use it to track down assets experiencing the same vulnerability. Thank you for watching.